why Iranians are willing to talk to me and Israeli, even though it is extreme. Oh, and Israeli, even though it is extremely dangerous for them. Why would it be extremely dangerous for them? It's not extremely dangerous for them. Which Iranians? Where? No, it's not extremely dangerous for them. I, I think sometimes people exaggerate the threat that exists. Um, I mean, the threat does exist, but it's not like an automatic, like, it's not like the regime is just has like a camera in every single house and just looking at every single person and just like, just taking out everybody as soon as they misstep. Like sometimes they have to be careful Oh, so logic is so you're saying Iranians in Iran. Yeah, I don't think I, I think we're like a lot of times because we see like there are many, many issues. Like I'm not trying to say like Iran's uh, human rights record is devastatingly bad. OK, but it's not as widespread as a lot of people think it is. OK, I'm, I have to be careful not to make it seem like it's it's a, like it's things are OK there. Right. Things are not okay, right? Like people do get arrested and killed for the for things that are not crimes, okay? But it's not it's not everybody. It's not all the time. Like you have to be very unlucky, <laughs> right? And also, it's not just like oh, you just talk to an Israeli. Like I don't think that's enough for you to get arrested. Um, but you have to be like you have to be like somebody like me maybe for, for to be in trouble. Like people in Iran record videos and send it to Masih Alinejad of like, like of them removing, you know, saying bad things about the government. They record their own faces and send it to Masih Alinejad, which the government considers to be the end, one of their main enemies. And their faces are there, their voices are there, their identity is known. The vast majority of them, don't get in trouble again i'm not i'm not trying to paint a picture that things are rosy they don't have the resources to go after every single one there's just too many people complaining right there's just too many people complaining like they can, they're not going to be able to just track every single one of them like i think if they wanted to do that they would there's not even enough prisons in iran to be able to contain all of these people um so yeah, I think like some people like because we because people see all the bad news, which is a lot of it coming from Iran, a lot of people assume that oh yeah, you just say one right bad thing and you just do one wrong thing and you just like this you're taking it out. It needs to be a major thing. It needs to take get a lot of news and needs to be a lot of a big story and you need to be getting a lot of attention. Um for maybe to, for the government to get involved. You know what I mean? Like recently, I'm going to review some of these videos eventually on the Secular Jihadist channel. By the way, subscribe to the Secular Jihadist YouTube channel because I'm going to show these there. Like just recently, there was a woman who at, uh, who attacked a, a mullah, an imam, for um, using his cane to tell another to tell a woman that she's not wearing her hijab properly. And this other woman attacked the mullah, took off her his turban and basically smacked, like stepped on his turban, right? People love, like in Iran, people are, are loving that. They're sharing it. Um, they're celebrating it. They're calling this woman a hero. Um, okay? She's being arrested, okay? Obviously, this case is getting a lot of attention, so she's she's getting arrested. All right. Even though she didn't do anything wrong, she was defending herself. The, guy, the man came and, and came with the man with the cane, right, over her job. Um, so she didn't do anything wrong, and she's being arrested. So there's that. But like all the people who are like sharing it and celebrating her and calling her a hero, like they're not. It's not like every single one of these people is going to get arrested. Like if you're in Iran and you're like, "Haha, good job, lady. You showed that mullah." And you post that on social media, like it's not like you you can't you can't arrest that guy. Like there's just too many people who are saying that, right? You that woman who's getting all the attention, she might she's gonna get arrested. But 
I think sometimes people exaggerate how widespread the arrests are. Again, I'm hoping this is not coming off like a defense of the Islamic Republic of Iran or a whitewashing of it. I'm just trying to say that we need to be more realistic about what's actually going on. So you added, but if they talk to an Israeli and the regime discovers it, they can get in trouble. Most probably they will get in trouble. Okay, no. Okay. Um, they, they can get in trouble. I agree, I agree with that. But then you said most probably they will get in trouble. I don't think that's correct. I mean, we have people from Iran calling in to news organizations like Iran International and saying bad things about the regime live on air and they are not getting arrested. Like, I don't think, you know, they can't, they can't just go after everybody like that. Maybe not because they don't want to. It's just they just can't. So I think just talking to an Israeli, like, I don't know. I don't think that's a, they, they would get arrested for that. Maybe, you know, no, I don't think, I think that's, a, that's exaggerating it. Just talking to an Israeli, no. You know, I don't think so. I mean, here's the thing. A lot of people um, call from Iran to talk to me. And, and like this, anyways, I, I think I made my point. Okay, so here's an example of what you're saying, right? He's saying, I have a friend who was shortly arrested for something much less than talking to an Israeli, so maybe I am uh, more cautious. Okay, so again, like there are stories, like we have a person who was executed in Iran for simply saying that Prophet Jonah was not swallowed by a fish, okay? What I'm trying to say is like, I'm not saying these things don't happen. I'm just saying that you like just because you have examples of ridiculous things happening like that, that doesn't mean that it happens to every single person. Okay, so most likely it won't. Okay, most likely you have to be a special case for something bad to happen to you. Okay, you have to have a lot more attention brought to you or something like that. Okay, so anecdotal evidence doesn't so just, it's not statistics. That's not like a, doesn't represent what's happening in general. Again, I'm not trying to whitewash the Islamic Republic of Iran, okay? This is the same regime that just recently shot people with like, I don't know what the guns are called when they have. You, people who were protesting just recently for water shortages. What are those guns called that are not lethal, but they just like, they have little, metal stuff just going under your skin. I forgot what they're called. But yeah, just shooting right that those right into the public, taking people's eyes out, right? So that's the regime we're talking about. I'm not trying to whitewash. I'm not trying to say like, they're like, oh yeah, they're so benevolent. They're not going to attack you. I mean, the reason why they don't do, they can't go after everybody is just because there's too many people complaining and saying things. They don't have all the resources. I'm not trying to say that they're, they're good or anything. Not shotguns, Puya, because if I say shotguns, like, like, yeah, no, there's these guns that are not lethal, but they're, they cause a lot of damage. Yeah. Yeah, logic explorer. Yeah, that's right. But you have to do a lot for the regime to get interested in you. You have to be like, you have to be like very, you have to make a significant amount of noise. Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Cali, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below.
because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.